What's up you guys, Rex here. So it's real. I am off to my first day of clinical rotations, my first day being in the hospital, doing what I have been dreaming about doing for longer than I can care to remember at the moment. Um, and it's, it's amazing. I, I am so excited that I have never been this energized at five o'clock in the morning in my life. Like I am just little kid at Christmas level of energy is the best way to describe it. Just so ready to go. So we're off. We'll see if today is anywhere as fun and as exciting as I expect and hope it to be. So I'll be filming a video right after, but I think this is all I'll film for now because it's dark. The sun is not up. And if I don't have this light on, you can barely see crap. Well, there's a light, a uh, street light. So that helps a little bit, but yeah, this is just awful. So hopefully the uh, sun has not yet set by the time I leave, but we'll see if that's the case. Catch you later. All right, one day down and I'm leaving at 3.37 p.m., which is, crazy did not expect that i thought i'd be here till 6 30 or something like that and so that's really just because it's the first day and so i was just sort of getting introduced to everyone figure out what it is and since this is like my first rotation it also was the like second day of the intern i was working with and so the resident he's been doing it and so he knows what's going on but like the other intern it was their like second day the other ms2 obviously it's their first day and it was even our attending physicians like second day or something like that so everybody was just sort of figuring it all out and stuff like that so there was nothing left for me to do and so my resident is super awesome and he was like okay you guys can leave early and so I did. So that's a pleasant surprise. I'll have plenty of time to get a workout in and do some studying and practice questions and all that kind of stuff. So couldn't ask for a better day from schedule wise standpoint. Like that was awesome. And the day really flew by. Like it, it, it was quick and we got to do some uh, like team learning activity thing where it was with the interns and then the MS2s that it was just a like team-based diagnostic activity which was actually like really challenging and not something I would have been able to do on my own and all the other MS2s were like way over our heads but the interns they came through and we got the diagnosis right so that was cool and then we also got to attend the like noon conference where different faculty members present to the rest of the faculty body about something interesting. So that was super cool. So learning took place, got to interact with patients, got to help with the care of patients, even more cool. And so I'm just like so excited for tomorrow, but I'm even more excited for Thursday because that's going to be my first day where I'm on call. And so I'll get to hopefully experience the first time like working long hours so to speak that we have to leave by midnight but i think that more likely than not my residents will be like oh yeah you can leave as soon as you finish and i'll probably finish by 10 o'clock something like that 10 p.m um not totally sure but we'll find out i'm just really excited and it's such a great first day life's good all right so that is two days down Another day where I feel like I'm leaving early, relatively speaking, I, let's see, what's the time? Uh, 5.17 it is at the moment. So I'm not here till like 6.30. And so the reason I'm getting off early today is because every Wednesday, the way Duke does their schedule is they give us protected time every Wednesday. And so that's from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. is quote protected time that you can't be doing can't be made to do clinical activities. I had some hardos um, classmates that I guess were working right through because they want to, I guess. Um, but I believe there is value in time off and I respect that someone who knows more than me knows that I should have time off Wednesday 1 to 3 p.m. I'm gonna take time off Wednesday 1 to 3 p.m. So I went and sat in this like automated massage chair that Duke has in the medical student lounge. And it was awesome. Um, but then 
Wednesday is also the only day of the week when we have classes. And so I had my like one clinical skills, clinical reasoning class um, from 3 p.m. till 5 p.m. And so that just finished and now I'm all done for the day. But the only other reason I don't have to like go back to the hospital after this 5 p.m. is because today is our like pre-call day where they try and let you get out earlier so that you're all set for being on call tomorrow. So that will be tomorrow, which will be super exciting. That'll be my first experience of like admitting a patient and doing their initial admission history and physical. And then I'll get to hopefully follow that patient all the way from admission to hopefully a discharge where we have helped cure them of whatever brought them into the hospital. So I'm super excited to start that. I'm also excited that I'll like probably be staying late. It seems like most people are pretty nice about letting the medical students leave early this at this point in their careers because they can't really do much. So I think I'll probably guess that I'm gonna be able to leave by like 8 p.m. or something like that. But theoretically they say, try to leave before midnight at the latest. So maybe I'll be there till midnight. Who the heck knows? In any case, I'm excited. So day two, even more fun than day one. So excited to keep her going. Talk to you guys later. All right, here we are, day three, first on-call day. And so you might notice that it's actually slightly bright outside. So I, I'm getting here a little bit less early than I previous ha previously have. It's like 6.43 right now. So I'm supposed to be there at like seven. And I've been getting there at like 6.30 just to be early because I can. Um, but getting there more at like 6.50, I'll walk over there and get inside by. Um, but yeah, first day on call. First day I'll be here late, all that stuff. So excited, because it's also the first day I'll like admit new patients and get to really start that continuity of care, seeing them admitted and hopefully being here until they're sent home and being part of that. So super excited, life's great. We'll see how it is. What's up you guys, Rex here. All right, it is once again dark when I'm filming and that is not because I'm up super early, but I will be up early, but it is currently 10.45 when I'm leaving the hospital. So this is my first like long call day when I'm actually at the hospital for a long time, which is super cool. Like I'm, I'm ready to go and, and feel bad that I'm leaving the resident and intern who have to stay there overnight until 11 a.m. So I'm leaving now at 10.45, I like just got out, and then I have to be back by 6.30, which means I'll probably get up at like 4.45 or something like that. So I'll still get like at least five hours and 15 minutes of sleep. And I, I think five hours is my like minimum highly functional sleep. If I got five hours, I'm good to go. So not concerned about that at all. It won't be bad. You know, I'll be tired tomorrow, and but I'll get to have Saturday off and Sunday off which is a rare thing that only happens for this rotation if you're on call on Thursday. And so this is the only time it'll happen in these four weeks. Otherwise, I'll just get one day off a week. But yeah, it was, it was a fun day. I definitely have a long way to go in being efficient. And so the reason I was there so late is not because I like had, with, not because I was being made to do a ton of stuff, I really wasn't doing much. I was just very slow and not yet highly competent at doing what I was doing. And so for that reason, it took me way longer than it needed to. And so if I was like really, really good, I would have been out of there by eight o'clock. But I am very, very new and not yet good. So it's exciting that I'm sure I learned a ton in the process of me struggling along today. So next time I won't be there as late and I'm learning new things. And so I love learning new things. And yeah, there are no street lights on this road that I'm turning in. So you can't see anything whatsoever. So let's call it a night for now then. All right, good night guys. All right, it is 5.39 a.m. and we're in the dark again. I do have my light on, but it doesn't do that much. Um, so yeah, I 
sprung out of bed this morning. Rather surprisingly, I thought I would be a little bit tired. And so actually, every night this week, up till today, I've been snoozing my alarm once. So for like nine minutes, five minutes, something like that. Nothing more than that. Um, just been the littlest bit slow getting out of bed. But today was the first day I really sprung out of bed and like was obviously excited every day this week. But it's interesting to me that today, the day that I got the least amount of sleep, which I still got like right around five hours of sleep. So that is far from something to really complain about. So I'm very thankful that I got relatively a decent amount of sleep, that I'm about to go back to my resident and intern who presumably have gotten potentially zero sleep outside of maybe a 20 minute nap if they had the ability overnight to do. So I've got nothing to complain about. It'll just be interesting to see what time I stay there until today that theoretically I might, low probability, but I might have to stay there until 6 p.m. today. Um, so the way it works is that the resident and intern who stayed all night, they get to leave at 11 a.m. Basically, once they finish their all their morning rounds with the attending to go over all the new admissions and then hand off all those patients to someone else, they get to go home. However, I have to stay after that and work with the new resident taking over to do whatever they need me to do to hopefully be useful and helpful. And it seems like the culture is very chill that people don't want to overwork people for no reason. And so me being optimistic about being helpful, there is still limited that I can do to actually be helpful, that I have a lot to learn to actually be competent and highly useful. And so it seems like all the residents I've met so far are gonna be like, okay, make sure you finish up all your notes and stuff like that, check in on your patient. If he's all stable and stuff like that, you can go home, there's not much else for you to do. And so I'll probably have to attend my like noon lecture and maybe come back. I'm hoping to get out by 3 p.m., something like that. Not much later than that, but I'll update you on that. And I'm curious to see if I'll be tired at that point because I didn't really get tired yesterday at any point. And I'm wide awake this morning, ready to go, had a good run this morning. So doing good so far. Curious if I'll crash because I've been doing really well of getting like seven hours of sleep. Is it dropping down to five? Might be significant, might not. Who knows, but I'm excited to find out. And I am done. That is my first week working on the wards as a second year medical student in the books. And guess what time it is? It's bright outside. It's not just bright, it's way too hot outside because it is 1.30 exactly. And so I'm getting out super early, which is super nice. Um, because it is my day after being on call. So yesterday I was here till like 11. I don't even remember. You watched it in the video just seconds ago. And then I had to get back here at like six o'clock ish is when I showed up here again. So I've been here six, seven, seven and a half hours or something like that. But it feels like a super short day and like it was super quick, flew right by. And now I get to enjoy my whole weekend which is a rare thing that I don't just have one day off this weekend, I got two. So life could not be better. <sighs> but yeah, that's the first week. I am so thankful for this week. I'm thankful for the resident and intern and attending physician I got to work with. Like couldn't have asked for better. Absolutely no complaints. I had so much fun and it's like comical how much I learned in this past week as far as how much more confident and competent I feel going into next week just because of how much I learned in only one week. And I've got a whole another year of this. It's just really, really excited and I'm really thankful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I'll read and respond to every single comment. If you want to catch more videos where I share my journey to becoming a doctor, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. And
until next time, don't be ordinary, go be great.